Hey guys, so a lot of people have been asking me, how do you join the Associates Driver Program? So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. The first thing that you're going to do is log on to one Walmart and you are going to use your username and password that you use to log into me at Walmart and everything else in your store or DC. Then you're going to go over to this little hamburger icon. You're going to click it. You're going to go to me, click me, go to my career and look for career search. So when you go to career search, you might have to re-enter your username and password. So when you get to career search, you're gonna click on driver positions. And when you get here, you can either search for associated driver program, but um, sometimes it would be like really hard to figure out where to go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and you're going to go to, I'm gonna go to job category. When you go to job category, you're gonna click on more. And then you are going to look for transportation. Transportation is here. So I already looked last night on my search for the Associated Java program. And right now, none are listed. And so they, they only post the Associated Java program every month and a half. Now that the program is being uh, more popular, they're gonna start posting more often. I'm not sure when that's gonna start, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to look for in that. So I'm gonna go to my application since I already had applications with this and I'm just gonna click on Associated Driver Training. So when you go to, when you're looking for career search, it'll be Truck Driver Trainee Associated Driver Program, and then it'll be this, the city and state you're in. I'm at the Pottsville location, so um, this is the Pottsville, uh, Pennsylvania application that I previously did. And if you see truck driver trainee, that is the associated driver program. Sometimes it won't have associated driver. Sometimes it won't have truck driver trainee. It'll just be associated driver program. But it should look like this for the most part when you click on it. When you click on it, up here will be apply and a couple other things, but you'll click, you'll click apply. So I applied November 13th, 2023. That was five months ago. And it normally takes a while to hear back from them. I heard back from, to get my interview, I believe in January. So in January, that was like two months later, I got my interview call. So they'll call you for your interview. So for the position summary, what you'll do, associates go through 12 weeks of instruction during which they earn their CDLA and then gain real world behind the wheel experience with Walmart certified driver, certified driver trainees, CDTs. Once they successfully pass their final test, they graduate and are offered a Walmart private fleet driver position. After graduation, new drivers are assigned to their transportation offices. Think of these as the base of operations for a driver. From here, you're onboarded then assigned a mentor to show them everything they need to know about their new transportation office and continue their training. Once their mentorship is completed, our new drivers are ready for the world as members as one of the greatest teams in transportation. The Walmart private fleet is a special team to join. Our drivers are deeply dedicated to, safe, to safety and professionalism and we've been making investments to make sure Walmart remains one of the best companies in the world to drive for. Requirements to be eligi eligible to, to participate. Be an active associate with at least one year of service at the time of application. So if you are three months away from making your year, you can still apply because by the time that they get back to you or by the time the program starts, you'll be in your year. So I'm not sure if you can do four months, but if you're really close, and your training day doesn't start until like four months later in your year, then you can go. Being an associate with good standing and eligible to transfer into a new role, you can't really have any red flags or, you know, coaches and things like that. But for being, to be eligible to transfer to a new role, I think the maximum, the maximum points you can have is three. If you have 3.5 points, you cannot join the program unless your points are gonna fall off very soon. Then you, that's how you can transfer in your standings. Have a permanent residence within 250 miles of their future transportation office at the time of application. 
so when you apply you're, you're going to apply to places that are with that are within 250 miles from you this does not include the training if you if you go to the training location and you are more than 250 miles you are going to stay in your hotel every week and i think you only get to go home twice in the entire program you get paid to drive up you get paid to drive back home and you get paid to and from the class for gas and food and stuff have a valid driver's license in the state of their permanent residence successfully attain your cdl permit or your clp before the start of the program the program used to be where you would the first week you'd be learning and reading to get your permit but now you have to have your commercials learner's permit before you start the program because that just helps the whole process so study for your clp now if you're thinking about join joining you have to do general knowledge combination and air brakes and you have to be at least 21 years old pass a dot physical and drug screen dot physical if you have sleep apnea you're gonna have to do a sleep study or stuff that you take for medications and you know just see if you're able to mentally physically and emotionally do that do the job and a drug screen for drug screening no drugs unless you're prescribed something um, no marijuana truck drivers can't smoke marijuana either so marijuana is still included as a drug be a u.s citizen or a lawful permanent resident must be able to read and speak the English language sufficiently to converse with the general public, to understand highway traffic signs and signals in the English lang language, to respond to official inquiries and make entries on reports and records as required by the Department of Transportation. Associates who have their current Class A CDL are el eligible to apply. This means if you have gone to trucking school and you know you got your cdl from there you didn't go to a company you can join or if you have an inactive cdl you can also join which means that you're not driving for another company you cannot have a conviction for a dui dwi oui or reckless driving involving alcohol or drugs within the last 10 years minimum qualifications interstate commercial driver's license with hazmat endorsement or obtain hazmat endorsement within 120 calendar days of date hire. Um, we don't really uh, ship hazmat stuff, but if you have bleach, if it is packaged differently, then you will need a hazmat endorsement, but we don't do tankers or fuel or anything like that, explosive, corrosion, you know, just things like that. We don't, we don't deal with that, but you are still required to get your hazmat, so study for that now and you can get that on your clp and it'll be on your cdl so you don't have to really waste time and also i forgot to mention that the general knowledge combination in air brakes um, it's 150 questions general knowledge is 50 questions and combination and air brakes are 25 questions i'm not sure if different states ha um, have how many you can fail or how many points you can get to fail but you have to have a good amount to pass. All right, no preventable accidents while operating a commercial motor vehicle in the last three years. No serious traffic violations while operating a commercial motor vehicle in the last three years. No more than two moving violations while operating a personal, com a personal or commercial motor vehicle in the last three years. No preventable no preventable accident resulting in a fatality or catastrophe injury in driving history and then the preventable the preventability of any accidents will be determined by walmart based on the ata guidelines no preventable dot recordable accidents decisions resulting in disabling damage and or immediate medical treatment away from the scene while operating a commuter commercial motor vehicle in the last 10 years upon successful completion of the program must meet the requirements of the over the road truck driver or city driver over the road truck driver means you'll be driving within your region where if you my region we don't go from the east coast to the west coast i think far west at pottsville goes is um, ohio but wherever your region is you'll be an over road driver a city driver goes home every night um, I don't think you, you don't get to choose which one you, you want to be depending on what your 
DC has located um, or what they have open. All right, so that's pretty much the application for this. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I am a little bit busy working on my next A to D video and I'm coming up to the last week of the program. So I hope this helps you guys. Just remember to look for a truck driver trainee associated driver program and that's how you find the application. But again, applications aren't always posted. You can check back every every day, every week, and you'll see. And if you if if the closest area to you is not posted, you can still apply to the one further away. But they do end up posting more A to D applications, and you can apply to one that's close to your house. If it's closer to your house, it'll be there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.